Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all 23 collectibles in the Harvest Ridge here in Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, as always, some of these collectibles require certain abilities that aren't unlocked until later on in the main mission. So if you're not able to grab one, just come back and get it later. Now we're actually gonna be starting from the Rambler's Reach meditation point. You guys can see where we're at currently. It's in the Southern Reach. Where we wanna go is right over here toward the Harvest Ridge. Now I'm assuming most of you haven't made it into that area yet. So what we're gonna do is head behind the outpost here. And once you head behind the outpost, we're going to go over to this little creek or river. And there's going to be a jump pump spot over here that we can get to. So we'll hop off this guy once we get to this wall over here. And then we can just sprint up the wall and it'll allow us to make it into the area. Now, once you jump up here, the first thing we're going to do is go right into this cave. And when we go this way, you're going to have two directions. We're going to go left. And as we work our way out from under this rock formation, you guys will see right here on the right side of the path is going to be your first seed pod. Now, after you grab this one, we're going to continue down the path to where you guys see this wooden gate. We're going to have a seed pod on each side of this gate. So we're going to start by going left. And if we stay on this side of the bridge, we'll see that there's a bush right over here along the side that's got the green orbs. You can go ahead and take that out. We'll get our next seed pod. And then what we're going to do is go on the other side. So we'll go over here, except this one is going to be on this side of the bridge. And when you come right over here, you guys will start to see the green orbs. Go ahead and destroy that. And that'll be another seed pod. Now, after you grab this one, we're going to cross the river. So we're going to go over here in this big pile of brush and we're going to get three more seed pods. So you'll see them through the green orbs. The first one's going to be right here in this little bush. You can go ahead and destroy that. Get one there. You come over here. This weird looking thing is going to be one. So you can destroy that. Get that one. And then right in front of it, we got another bush and this will be your third one in the area. Now, after you grab these seed pods, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna head into the moldy depths as there's only one collectible there and it's in this area. So I'll figure I'll show you where it's at. What we're gonna do is run over here to this door. Now this door is not initially gonna be open. To get it open, we need to use the force on the switch and then bring it right back over here and put it on this thing. Once doing so, you can then go inside. We're gonna slowly work our way all the way to the back. And then you're gonna have a little area that you can sneak through back here. So go ahead and sneak through these walls. And when we get to the other side, we're gonna encounter a water slide that we're gonna go down. So pretty cool little water slide. And once you make it out, you guys will see, all we're gonna do is jump down into this, ride this all the way down. Now, once you get to the bottom of the water slide, we're gonna turn to the right and come over this direction. And you guys will see that back here in this corner, we're gonna have our one and only collectible in this area. Now you will have several enemies down here that you'll need to take out. Uh, but that's where the collectible is going to be. Now, once you grab it, the way to get out of here is a little bit confusing. You're going to come over here and climb up on these vines. We're going to jump across and we're going to go over here to where this gate is. Now, if you've been down here, you've probably tried to open this gate and couldn't figure out what to do. What you want to do is grab onto this so the gate opens. And now you want to whistle. And when you whistle, what that's going to do is get the little guy that's inside to come running out. And you'll be able to jump on him to get out of here. Once you get him out, we're going to come over to where this broken elevator thing is. And we're going to jump with him and then double jump to get up there. So we'll jump hit it a couple times. We'll be able to get up here. And then we're just going to jump back and forth. So once you're up here, jump to this wall, this wall, and just keep doing so until you get to the top. We'll get to a vine here. We can climb up the side of the vine. And once you get up here, you can jump to the top and now we're on the top. Now, once you make it to the top, we're going to look to our right. You're going to see a barn. We want to work our way over that direction. So what we're going to do is go straight. And once we get over here, we're going to take a right and work our way down this hill. And when you get down here, you're going to encounter several enemies in the area. But once taking them out, you want to come over here by this giant yellow light pole. And right beside this yellow pole is going to be another seed pod. So you can see the green orbs in this bush. Go ahead and take it out and get yourself another seed pod. Now, after you grab this one, we want to call for a little friend to ride. So if you don't have one in the area, you can press the button that you use to whistle and there'll be one that spawns just comes running up to you. So all we're going to do is hop on top of him. And what we want to do is go over here to where you see this gray wall on the barn. And we're going to jump up and wall run on that. And we're going to wall run on this container and jump up to the next level. If we come over here, you guys can see I'm going to double jump off of this run on this wall run on the container and just like that we made it up top now before we go anywhere we're going to come right over here to the back left against this gate and we're going to get ourselves another seed pod right here now after we grab this one we're going to turn around and we're going to go into this barn so you can use the force to break the door and once you go in if you look down on the first floor back over in this corner we're going to have a blue glowing orb we can run over to the bird's nest pick that up and this will be how you get your next collectible now after grabbing this we can turn around and head back up top we can come over here and grapple this is the best way to do it or maybe the only way to do it 
And once we get back up top, we're going to go right outside and we're going to wall run where we just came from. You guys can see the rod that's hanging out from the barn. We're going to grab onto that. So we'll wall run right here and then we'll jump up and grab onto this rod. And then we're going to swing our way across over to where this tower is. Once doing so, we can grab on, work our way around. And this is how we get on top of the barn. Now, as soon as you get up here, you guys will see that we have a chest over here. So this will be your next collectible. Now, after you open this chest, if you look to your left, we want to get across the way here. But it looks like it's pretty much impossible to jump. We can actually do it. So if you come down here and you get on this little ledge right here, it's not too difficult. You may have to jump. But what we can do is run, double jump, and dodge or dash, and you'll make it all the way across. So you guys can see, we'll jump, go ahead and hit your dash, and you'll grab onto the ledge, and you've made it up. Now, the next thing we need to do is come over here to this tractor-looking thing, and we're going to jump up on just any of this equipment. It really doesn't matter which one you get on, but then we're going to be able to jump up here, and this is where we're going to be able to get our next collectible, which is right here. Now, after you grab this one, we're going to turn around and we're going to go get back up on top of the barn. So we're going to come right over here to this bird on the right side, and we're going to fly with this bird across the way. Now, there's a little specific spot over there that you want to land, so I'd recommend just watching me do it before you go for it. But hop on the bird. We're going to fly all the way over here, and you may need to jump. You should make it without having to, but just in case, just do it anyways. You'll be able to get up here on this ledge. Now, the first thing we're going to do once you get up here is go all the way to the right side. So if we go all the way to the far right over here, we're going to have another seed pod. So you can go ahead and destroy that. Grab that one. Now we're going to run to the other side. So we'll run back all the way over here. And once we get back over here on the left side, this one I think is a little bit more difficult to see. Where is it at? Down here. So right here is going to be your next seed pod. Now, after you grab this one, we're going to turn around and you're going to have a spot where we can wall run. So what we're going to do is just wall run across here. And once we get over here, we're going to go to these bushes in the back left, and we're going to have another seed pod right here. So go ahead and destroy that, and you'll get yourself another one. Now, after picking this one up, the next thing we're going to do is go around this corner, and we can actually jump back and forth between these rock walls to get to the top. And once you get to the top, we're going to turn around, and we're going to wall run again. We're going to go over on the other side and grab a chest. So go ahead and wall run right here, and then we'll grab onto this thing. You can swing a little bit. We'll jump across. And once you get over here, you guys will see that right up here on the hill, we're going to be able to grab a chest, which is going to be our next collectible. Now, after you open up this chest, we're going to turn around and instead of going back where the wall run is, we're going to take a right before you get there and go right back here around this back side. So if you go over here, you can slowly walk around the back and right back over here, you're going to be able to find yourself some treasure. So this will be your next collectible. Now, after you pick up the treasure, we want to go to where all the bushes are above us. So what we can do is just come over here and jump up. Now it's not going to let you jump over this fence right here so just come all the way down to the end and you can jump over right here now we're going to get like five seed pods over here so just follow the fence line up here now i've already grabbed one on accident as i was coming up here to check so i've already grabbed one it's going to be right next to where this one is so you can get this one as well that'll be two i think you've got another one right here that'll be three another one right there that was four and then your other one's going to be right here so that'll be five so you should get five seed pods up here uh, and yeah, now after you grab all these, we want to go back over to this red barn over here. So I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so now that we're back at the barn, we're going to go grab a seed pod that's hidden behind it. What we want to do is go in right here where all of the little creatures are kept. We're going to go over here in the back corner and jump up where all these bushes are. So you guys can see that tree on the far back right. That's where we want to go. I'm going to jump over this ledge here. We'll just work our way over. It doesn't really matter if you fall because we're just going to stay on the outside here. You guys can already see the green orbs. Once you get over here, we're just going to destroy this and you'll be able to get yourself another seed pod. Now, after you grab the seed pod up here, we're going to head back over to the barn and we're actually going to go past the barn. So we'll run our way back over this way and we're going to leave the barn exit and we're just going to go straight to where this drop off is. So if you go right over here to where this gate is, we're going to be grabbing another seed pod that's down here. You guys can see that we kind of have a, an opening right there. Where there's some smoke right under that is going to be a bush that's going to be our next seed pod so i think if you come over here we can actually get down without dying we'll come right over this ledge here and i think if you drop right here you're good and what we're going to do is run over here you guys can see kind of where the rock ends that's where we want to be so we'll run across the river you can then jump up on this ledge here and right up here is where you're going to find your next seed pod so you can see it right over here in this tree Go ahead and take that out and you got yourself the next one. But this is how to get all 23 collectibles here in the Harvest Ridge and Jedi Survivor, as well as the collectible in the Moldy Depths. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.